Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Liberate the Nations. My name is Eleonora, and today we're going to talk about the new moon in Taurus. It's going to happen on Tuesday, May 11th, with its peak time of 11.59 a.m. at Pacific Standard Time. So Taurus is a Earth fixed sign, which is ruled by Venus, who is in the air sign of Gemini right now. So this lunation will prove to be a little bit more of a mentally stimulating lunation. Um, obviously, Taurus likes stability, consistency, and effort as well. So take this opportunity to plant seeds and manifest goals that will be beneficial for you in the long run. Also, you can check out wherever Taurus falls in your chart or wherever 21 degrees of Taurus hits in your chart to see which themes will probably be more relevant for you during this lunar cycle. So for this lunation, we have a couple aspects that are important to mention, starting with Saturn in Aquarius, Trine, Mercury, and Gemini. This is plan, plan, plan for me. This aspect is very supportive of planning future goals, planning your manifestation, very supportive of long-term planning, structuring, and brainstorming too. I would say take advantage of this energy to really nail down what you want to manifest for this lunar cycle. We're also about to enter eclipse season for... I guess a month or so. So this will be the last new moon and the last chance that we get to manifest before um, the new moon in Cancer on July 9th. Also, it's worth mentioning that Mercury is conjunct the North Node, who is in Gemini right now as well. And the North Node is kind of a sensitive point in astrology, but it just means that the energy will be hyped up. There will be an increase of energy, which means probably an increase of mental stimulation. So my advice is make sure you have proper grounding when you're laying out your manifestation plan. Okay, the last aspect that we're going to touch on is going to be Mars in Cancer, sextile Uranus in Taurus. And I know sextiles are not that much of a big deal, but I think this aspect is really cute. I think it can bring a spark of creativity or determination. This aspect could also indicate the encouragement to tackle projects a different way that you're not used to, whatever that means for you. With um, Mars and Cancer, Sextile, Uranus and Taurus, I do say check in with your emotions. The other aspect that we have, Saturn and Aquarius, um, Trine, Mercury and Gemini, it's very logical to me. It's very grounded um, and it provides a very responsible energy to manifest these goals and to really think long term. But I think it's important to check in with our emotions as well. Sometimes when we try to make a logical decision that's going to be beneficial in the long run, we tend to do that act on logic only versus really checking in with our emotions and inputting that and be like, okay, what's going to make me happy? What's going to not only provide me security and stability, but also going to feed my soul in the long run. Okie dokie, now is that time to pull a card. Again, this is an energy that we can lean into during this new moon for the collective. Where can we find um, grounding and support in? Ooh, we got the ninth house. So traditionally, the ninth house speaks on higher education, expanding your mind, expanding the horizons of your intellect. Um, sometimes it can represent long distance travel. It can uh, represent spirituality and astrology as well. So my take on this is really think big this lunation really um and think about subjects that interest you think about subjects that could help you grow both not only intellectually but also like emotionally grow as a person and really with mercury and gemini i mean it is conjunct the north node so it's a little bit of like energy um to me already mercury and gemini is highly stimulating so being conjunct to the north node just makes it way more stimulating to me um and it's funny because gemini falls in my ninth house so <laughs> but anyway i think it is good to just um do some research dive into projects or subjects that you're very curious about that you think 
will have a play in this lunation. Again, this new moon is in Taurus, which is ruled by Venus and Gemini right now. Stability, security, longevity. Think of those themes and think of where you can expand your horizons and how that can help you achieve those things. As always, new moons are good for readings, tarot, oracle, akashic, energy readings, astrology readings, any kind, we got it. Um, especially since this is the last lunation that we can manifest until July, like I said before, I think it would be very beneficial to just get kind of like a clear mind, a clear head, um, especially with all this mental activity that we have with Mercury and Gemini um, and the North Node. So I think that would be really grounding and beneficial if you don't know what to manifest during this lunar cycle to get a little bit of guidance um, into what your spirits and angels have to say for you. The event we recommend for this week is Meditation and Healing for Mental Health and Emotional Prosperity with our one and only Lily Reyes. That is going to be on Thursday, May 13th at 5 p.m. for Pacific Standard Time. As always, all of our meditations are $15 and you get a 48-hour replay sent after the meditation so you can watch at your own. For you guys, that is all I have today for this new moon in Taurus that's happening on May 11th. Can't believe we're almost halfway through May. Um, I hope everybody is doing great. I hope everybody is happy and healthy. And I am sending everybody much, much love, many, many blessings, and have a very, very happy new moon. <laughs>